Hello everyone, good morning. My name is Andre. I'm here with KARV Repair. Do some repairs today here in this fifth wheel here. And we're gonna do some adjustments, also some corrections and uh, some uh, some upgrades uh, that the trailer needs. Uh, we are a new company. Uh, we are one year old. I am the owner of the KARV Repair. KA stands for because I have uh, two sons and they're named after my kids. Uh, that's the that's the stand the K A R V is because camping is is family you know a family is is all what we can have that's the whole reason we outdoors sometimes you know with family and having fun camping is fun uh, sometimes you know a little thing has happened you know uh, problems that's why we need co-ops and we're making sure your camp is going to go as smooth as it's supposed to be. Yes, and speaking of problems, uh, the warranty for our fifth wheel expires next month right. and I had a few pressing issues I needed done while it was still under warranty mm -hmm. and I was, as always in the past, I was planning on paying up front out of my own pocket but when Andre, I recently found him, when he came out to assess all of the work that needed to be done the great thing about this company is that they work directly with the manufacturer, but I have not had to pay a single red penny out of my pocket. Andre mm -hmm. works directly with the warranty right. department for whichever manufacturer that he happens to be dealing with at the time. When it comes in, this is going to slide right in here. This one is going to come off. Right. The customer complained. I always use those terms uh, and the terminology a customer complained that uh, he saw here a little crack and it is right somewhere right here. Uh, and what we do is we, we I call a corner trim. It's going to be replaced from the bottom of this slide over here to avoid water leaks over here. The main problem I was having yes, is right here and right this there. piece of hard plastic mm -hmm. which you are replacing right with the new one yes. this popped out of the molding that mm -hmm. keeps everything in check it's not all the way up when right. we install that right. I mean, what we're going to do is right. make sure when you put that as you notice there's a corner it needs to go perfect nice and flat the corner of the slide to not, to not break that no more and once we get it done, we're going to seal in the top and seal in the bottom. All right, so we just brought in the slides, maybe about a third of the way in. Here's the kitchen slide. When I bring in the slides, uh, both of them kind of come in in unison. And then the kitchen slide will finish coming in first. And then the living room, dining room slide will come in last but they both will come in just a little bit right when you hit the button. So Andre is basically needing them brought in so he can remove the screw from the inside because he can't reach up underneath from the outside. So we're coming right over here. You can see a screwdriver, but right there, and you can see a little bit of light coming in right over there, but he needed to access this strip so he can get to the rubber plastic from this side as well. Towards the end of our road trip, I noticed this piece of decorative molding right here. See how loose that is? It was popped all the way up and this is towards the end of our trip. So I kind of pushed that back down and hammered it back in, back in with a rubber hammer. But I put my finger up behind here and I noticed that this whole side down on the bottom right side was not flush to the wall like it normally was. Now I'm going to show you the outside real quick and this is what gave me the red flag when I was inspecting the slide outs. It was towards the end of our trip. We had just extended out the slides and I was doing my inspection and between the molding that was basically pushing up that I showed you on the inside, that piece of wood molding down by the uh, refrigerator. I came outside and did an inspection and I noticed along, sorry uh, guys for the camera light needing to readjust in the light. I'm doing the best I can here. But right up in that corner, 
right there, there is a huge gap. Now, of course, the slide is brought in a little bit, so you don't see it right now, but there is a huge, probably like one inch gap where the rubber sill hits the top right of the slide out itself. And that is what gave me the red flag. I'm like, why is that not touching around? And then I walked all the way down to the other end and you couldn't even put your hand between the rubber sill and the slide. It was pushed so far down against this. Having all of this happen under warranty has been great because it's all being fixed obviously for free. No money out of our pocket. And this is going to give us invaluable experience going forward because when we upgrade, we even know more what we need to look for and check for PDI. And the one thing I'm going to be doing is bringing in and out those slide outs at least five to 10 times before we even write a check for the dealer and then go around and inspect the hell out of them. So for all of you who have not bought a fifth wheel yet but are planning to soon, check your slide outs and make sure that they are adjusted properly so you don't have to go through what we're going through. The other thing that Andre is going to be replacing, and this was covered under warranty as well, is the water filter. When he was replacing the gray valve, which the access is right up under here. Uh, I did not record any of that uh, when he was here last week. He was just extremely busy and we hadn't really talked about him letting me record yet. Uh, so that's why I did not. But Andre is really cool with it and he's going to uh, talk to you a little bit more about this when we get to it in a little bit. But I just wanted to show you that Andre actually found a leak. Nice. Yeah, that looks nice. really nice. And that's good to see that they actually actually yeah. have uh, have like a, a gasket or sillet yeah, behind that piece of trim for water intrusion. Yes. That's it's nice to see. Mm -hmm. We call this a bio tape. It goes first, then you put it there, it goes mm -hmm. behind it. Mm -hmm. Even if the water gets intrusion, if it does, it will exit right here from the bottom. That's the way this is, you know. Um, I really like this manufacturing the trailer. They are, as a customer service compares to other manufacturers, uh, they are trying. Uh, nobody is perfect, but they are pretty good with the customers to get it, you know, the best that they can. Sure. To get it done. Sure. And uh, I, me as a technician, have no complaints the way how they actually uh, treat us or help, you know, the customer so far. Good. Good. I guess right here is where you kind of uh, jacked it up to release some weight yeah. so you could access yeah, so this. I can to put my hand all the way there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wonderful. There. Wonderful. And uh, to that trim slides yeah. all the way to that side. There's a three ton jack. Okay. Perfect. Like it. So good. And it's checking on the inside, making sure that trim is nice and tight. The same way it was on an outside. All right. The new trim is installed and I has been sealed. Uh, I just put the last screw on this side over here because otherwise you're not gonna have a room for you just bring a little bit It's always the last screw that you're not gonna be able to access from outside the reason is you have to bring the slide a couple of inches inside uh, I just installed right now uh, we're gonna bring the slide out and install the last screw on it and uh, just see when we're all done We're gonna hit that slide button right here and boom. All right, here we go Yep. All right. Thank you, Andre. Install the last screw here. Now we're gonna do a nice sealing here, and I'm gonna seal that off. You're not gonna be able to see because they always scratch it. And now we're gonna seal all of them right here. Also seal the top and seal the bottom. Okay. So Andre is ready to replace the water pump filter. He has asked me to turn off the main water supply. And now we're going to go inside and we are going to open up the faucets in the kitchen and bathroom 
to relieve the water pressure in the lines. Hey Ziggy, how are you? Hey Ziggy. Okay, so we're gonna come in, turn off the water, wait for that to die down. Oh, since we're right here by the water, a little tip. My water, not it wasn't that bad, but my water was starting to come out kind of uh, more drizzling and it never occurred to me, but you need to go right up in here and clean out your aerator sometimes because it can get gunked up. And that was uh, what happened with me and now my water pressure is back. So you can see I'm doing hot and cold to make sure that all that water's out. We'll go ahead and just leave that that way so the rest of that water gets out of the line. All right, now we're gonna come up here real quick into the bathroom. I'll turn on the light here. And now we're gonna do that. By doing an inspection right now, I find another problem. Uh-oh. Is it a bad water pump? Oh, okay. When we first removed there, yes. the old filter was cracked right here. Yes. And it was dripping water from the side. Yes. We're gonna install the new filter right now. It's not a filter here. I'm still seeing water right here. Oh, okay. That? And uh, it's not a reason to be water right here. Why? You see those screws right here in the front? Okay, I'm, can I uh, come up a little bit Absolutely. closer yeah, while you you're talking? Up. Yes, come in here. Let people be able to see it a little bit better. Yeah. All right, we're inside the cargo bay, guys. Yep. See this water pump here? If I should put my hand right here, I feel water. Of course. And this this pump here, it is a defect pump right here. As you can see, water around this seal right here. This means the manufacturer is a leaper component is gonna send me a new water pump. And as you see here, you can see water right there. Sure. Yeah. And that it was the water part of the water. This means not okay. just the the. the the filter was mm -hmm. bad, yeah. but also the water pump was bad. And it's, it is not... And because it, of the crack in the filter, it was just assumed that we the water got, was coming from that. But it kind of was a happy accident since we've been waiting a few days for this replacement. Yes. You have now been able to see that the water was actually also coming from, from the, the water pump, pump itself. Okay, wonderful. Yep. Wonderful. So instead of even contacting Grand Design, Correct. you're just going to go straight to Lippert and uh, put in a claim with them Correct. because that water pump, yes. I think in the manual, certain components through Lippert are actually warranted mm -hmm. for two years. Correct. Yes. So and I think the water so pump was actually one of them. It's Lippert. Yes. So even if we were technically out of my Grand Design one year warranty, Correct. I would still get a free replacement. Correct. I mean, but I have... would, but I would be, I have to probably at that point though, at least be okay. paying you for the service side of it. Um, no, I pay for parts and labor. Uh, really? That's yes, wonderful. That okay. Pay. Once you had this wall taken off, that I would show you this hot mess oh, yeah. that we have back here. So Wires. right there is the water convenience area. Right back down there are the three valves and he replaced one of them. And when Andre was here earlier replacing the valve, we noticed water coming from here, right trickling there. all the way down. Yeah, so we were noticing water just right kind there. of collecting right, right here on the top. Yes. Right yeah, there. and see, you can see some of the mineral deposits. Yes. But fortunately, there was no wood touched by the water. Mm -hmm. It's all just linoleum and plastic. So fortunately, there's no water damage. Correct. And that would be my main concern. But Andre is nice enough to shine the lights through here. But look at this hot mess. Look at that. Mm -hmm. And Andre was saying by space. law. I'm sorry? There's a lot of waste of space. You can rearrange, you know. Yes, so much wasted it. space. Yeah. And you would think that they would just kind of organize all of this a little bit nicer. Yeah. But I guess because it's out of our uh, viewing range, mm -hmm. if you will, because yes. it's all hidden, I guess uh, they feel that they don't have to make it look that nice. Correct. And I'm going to kind of point the camera back here so you can see. But look at all this wasted space. I might get a handyman to organize this for me, move things back a little bit. Uh, by all means, this, this yeah. inverter here, you can probably put it all the way up yeah, there. Way back there. Guess, and you get all this yeah. corner here, probably put a couple more boxes sure. on it. I mean, no look problem. at that. Look at all that space yes. back behind the duct right there. Yes. That's nothing but just empty space. You can almost hide it back there. Yeah, we can look almost at hide that. It. Yep. I know. If we were like, 
working in the cartel or something. <laughs> we could like, like oh, you can hide could, a lot we, of stuff. We could though. like smuggle everything back in there. Definitely. <laughs> you guys know I just like to add little jokes. Don't worry, we 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 are not going to be doing that. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Andre, You're for welcome. explaining the uh, whole guts of the RV. Yep. Because it does look like a hot mess of zombie guts. <laughs> yep. All right. I'll let you uh, get to it. Okay. We're going to go to our last I complain item for today. What is the uh, passenger side main slide over here? We're going to close that slide all the way and verify uh, measurements. Okay. So we're going to bring in the slides yes, now. And I'll move forward this way here. <coughs> And just one more time, check, make sure everything is off the floor and nothing is going to bump into the slides. Correct. Here we go. And this time we're bringing them all the way in. That's good. Okay. Oh, right there? Yeah, because we only need this. Oh, okay, perfect. Yeah, we don't need to mess with that. We're yeah. only going to deal with this. Now just, from, now, just from your expertise, mm -hmm from sound does right. everything sound good yes it sounds good this spot this slide system have a safety system we call bypass system when the valve reaches the point you're gonna notice it, it changes the sound it, it, it's really it's like if you really pay attention you're gonna notice it, it's kind of go from one frequency to another frequency then you know your slides are completely open or completely closed. Okay, we're gonna go ahead now close it all the way in by the time that we call these seals. If you look at here, we're talking about these seals. They look like a D shape right here. We're gonna go ahead and bring the slide all the way in here now and I'm gonna verify compression, making sure that's all good. I mean, I just want to check uh, how everything looks good. Looks good right so far. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna bring mm -hmm. all the way in. Okay, so Andre is having me bring the uh, slide all the way in now because it was still left a little bit out so here we go we're going to finish bringing it in I mean, how we mentioned earlier uh, the, uh, the adjustment um, on the in is perfect as you see we got the same space in the top and the bottom but if you look at here if you walk coming this side you're actually going to notice a difference if you see this frame you see that it's a little bit off okay and there's a, there's a way we can bring that down a little bit to make it now they look right. But we don't want to also try to fix any problem and create any other problem. I mean, to, to be sure I can move that down, I need to go down there and verify where is the bracket now and if I have a space to bring it down a little bit. So Andre is having me extend out the slides. So here we go, guys. This like freaks me out. All right, now here comes the other one. Here we go. Oh my God! Ah! All right. Yeah, and then right there was what I noticed. It was starting mm -hmm. to get pushed up yeah. as if something was hitting on it from the outside. Then that's when I went out to look and I noticed that black strip that you just replaced on this slide was kind of torn up a little bit. Okay, so we're going back out. So at this point, Andre is just basically testing the alignment of the slide and checking to make sure everything sounds and looks good. But if you remember, yeah. right here yeah, those are is screws. what I noticed. Yeah. These screws were starting to come out, yeah. like something was hitting on it. Um, One of them broke. But if you look right up under here, yeah. you'll see all that buckling, like something's like actually yeah, grinding on it. A, what I did here now, we raised the slide because up there was, if you actually look this wall here, was a big uh, gap over here. Mm -hmm. And not uh, enough space in the top. Yep. So with time, it's gonna torn that wiper seal off, mm -hmm. and it will because technically that's a drawer. This will go in and out this way. That mm -hmm. technically your drawer mm -hmm. sideways. Yes. You have to ask permission for the manufacturer. Mm -hmm. You see, oh, sometimes the 
they already have the fix ready for that kind of issue. Mm -hmm. Once you call them in, they're gonna say, you know what, we, we have the fix for that problem. That's what we're gonna need it. That's what you're gonna do. I mean, they have to tell me what they want on there for because it's under their warranty. Of course. Yeah, and that's, that's when you go under the warranty, you have to be really careful is to not avoid the warranty. You just follow their steps. Mm -hmm. It's their product. They need to figure out how to fix. Of course. Yeah. Okay, so we're right under the slide out. Here is the roller he's talking about, and then right over here is the other roller. So he got the slide adjusted to how it actually needs to be, and you can see right down in this corner there is a big gap. So Andre is going to get approval from Grand Design to find out what to do. Okay guys, so we're gonna wrap up this video. I tried to show you as much as I could. We have had uh, some people, you know, leaving in the comments that they'd like to see some, you know, more kind of technical and maintenance related videos. So I thought this would be good to show you regarding going and dealing with an RV repair service. And there he goes. So Andre and KA RV repair is really cool. And the coolest thing is Andre is letting me record this. A lot of people they get weirded out by it. And I explained to Andre, you know, we've got like the best subscribers out there and people love hearing about this kind of stuff and seeing it through the eyes of others. And I thought this would be just a great opportunity to share with all of you guys out there. And just to reiterate, we found out that the water pump itself is what had a leak, not just the filter trap mechanism. So that is being ordered and is going to be replaced. And then the last issue is the slide out adjustment. Andre, as he explained earlier in the video, I think there was some background noise going on. I do apologize about that. But going forward, we now also have to get the slide out on the kitchen side fixed. Hopefully Andre is going to be able to work his magic to, with Grand Design and get the parts and get the approval to have it fixed here on site. And if not, unfortunately, we will have to take it into the shop. I was dreading this moment. I'm not going to get ahead of myself because Andre said he will probably be able to fix it here but if Grand Design gives him some different information and Grand Design wants him to take it into the shop, then he has to go with what Grand Design wants because if he doesn't, it will void the one-year warranty. But Andre is a really good guy and he said he's going to give Grand Design the recommendations on being able to fix it here at our campsite. But if not, we'll just cross that bridge when we get to it. So anyway, guys, I think we are going to wrap up this video. I am now going to get everything put back up into the cargo. I'm going to go inside and do a little bit of cleaning because I've been putting that off this week because I knew Andre was going to come in and we were going to be bringing in and out the slides a little bit today. So I want to do a little bit of dusting and cleaning and get the floors all cleaned up. And then Ziggy and I are just going to kind of chill for the rest of the day and enjoy some TV. So until next time, you guys have a glamtastic day out there in the YouTube world. And we will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Leave a comment to say hi If you like us, please subscribe And if you don't, our little fluffy dog will attack you